Hello and welcome to Hot Topics Wednesdays. As you see, we're all festive here. Uh, and uh, I don't know about you, but I celebrate all holidays, uh, Russian and American. And I also have a huge family and I counted that we have six stops this holiday season. So I'm very blessed. And I really hope you're enjoying your time off and hopefully you can take time off and uh, just kind of have uh, time with your family and the dear ones. So today um, we're going to have a special blog uh, with a little surprise at the end. Uh, of course, it's a uh, holiday season full of surprises. Uh, and today we're going to talk about attention again. So research shows that Nowadays, we have about eight seconds of attention span, which is really, really sad because even a couple of years, it was 10 seconds, which is already very short. But what can we do? This is the time that we live in. So I'm trying to find different strategies uh, that help my students um, to, you know, help me actually capture my students' attention. And today I'm just going to share something from the design point of view. I had this uh, amazing interview um, with James Breeze, um, who conducts eye movement research on what um, people look at when they look at the website. And I think that we can take this research and apply it to our online courses. So, how can eye movement research help you post pictures that guide your students' attention to the text? Positioning images in their right places is very important for your students' attention. For example, James Breeze, uh, using eye movement research, showed that when a baby product ad used the photo of a baby looking straight at the audience, like here, readers really did not pay that much attention to the text. As you see, um, there is a sequence of eye, uh, the eye fixations. It's displayed by the consecutive um, numbers. And as you see, the reader starts looking in the middle of the page and go, then goes straight to baby's face and then moves his attention over to the text. There's a different eye movement pattern in another, in the same ad, but where the baby is looking up toward the main content heading. So notice the difference. Here the reader fixates much less on the baby's face and then moves to the text quickly. So Breeze combined heat map of 106 people looking at the first image. And as you see, the redder uh, the spot, the more people looked at it. So, unfortunately, most of the focus is on the baby's face here and not so much on the text. And that was not the purpose of the ad. And in the next example, the same people were looking at the second image for the same amount of time. And as you can easily see, many more people were reading the text in the second ad. So, what can we learn uh, from this research. You can learn from this example that you can use faces and pictures in your course to get students to look at the most important information on your screen. We usually, when we use pictures, we put people looking at us, but um, it actually defeats the purpose because we usually look at what the person we see is looking at. If they're looking out at us, we will simply look back at them and not really anywhere else. I really hope you enjoyed this presentation and that you can apply the findings from this research to your online class and, you know, that it helps you catch students' attention. Now, we're moving to the surprise part. Um, I prepared a special report on other strategies uh, that you can apply to your online class and that increase uh, students' attention. So, if you're not on my list yet, come on over and I will send you this report. Uh, my uh, page is www.effectiveonlineteaching.com and you can subscribe on the right corner uh, and you, you will receive you know, timely updates and also you will get this report as my gift to you. Now, since this is a gift exchange part, 
What I would like from you is to leave a comment under this video and let me know why you're watching my blogs. If this is your first time, what did you like in this video? If this is not your first time, please tell me why do you keep coming here and what else would you like to learn about because that would help me create better posts for you and I really would appreciate it. It would be the best gift ever. So um, if you like this post, please click like and share it with anybody you wish on your social network. Have a wonderful holiday season and don't forget in all of this giving, giving, giving to others to give to yourself. Conquer that distance.